I'm told to be careful because the blacks are upset. As a white person, I don't know what to say about that. You see, I have rights regardless of my color, and you have rights regardless of your race and your creed. But what you're always doing to me is lying about your rights to piss all over me. And I've not asked to be your friend. I've not asked you to be going to business with me to any end. And I've not asked you to provide me one thing from your house in America. But for some reason, you think you have the right to piss on me for my color. And no offense, but that's reverse racism. And we didn't die in the marches all over the world to protect ethnocentricity, not at all, to protect diversity. So when you're sitting there misbehaving in your own color, please do not piss on me because you did that to your own self. You did that to your own family. You did that to your family of origin who clearly didn't teach you how to behave in regard to your heritage and your history. But that's not on me. My late father taught me what was right. My late father made, a wa made us watch Roots every night. And we did it year after year when Alex Haley's stuff played all the time on television. I don't think we do that anymore, but I think we should do it again. Because people have to remember where we've come from and where we could end if we don't get our shit together in America to love everybody. But loving everybody doesn't mean we're best friends. And loving everybody doesn't mean you have the right to come into my family and act like you're my friend. Or act like you're my sister. Or act like you're my brother. In general, a man of faith is welcome to that. But when you lie, steal, and cheat me out of my rights to say no to you, or no to anybody, or no to my property being stolen, or no to my paper being ruined, or no to police officers who ripped out my ACL and made it difficult for me to walk, I don't care one thing about you.